parents were going to come out and meet us. Uh, I don't know if you heard, but yesterday Barbara Bennett freaked out and said that there were, you know, outside organizations trying to have students do walkouts. Um, and uh, it's happened to us, uh, you know, so here at Near North, but also twice in the South Side today, they've actually, um, they've actually canceled and kept students from being able to come out and meet the mark. So uh, what that's meant is that uh, we've got some extra time. So uh, we know there's no, we've got, we're about a 10 minute walk from Manier, which is the last stop. Uh, but there's no shade up there and there's no grass, so we thought this would be a better place to, to, to rest. Um, we did just, though, want to sort of gather up our, our people. This has been an incredible march. Um, obviously not quite done. We're going to march them in the year. There's going to be an event there after school, so I don't think they can stop the students from coming out after that. And then we're obviously all going to march together down to the rally down Daly Plaza. Um, but we did just want to give people a chance to share an impression. If anyone wants to be into an open bullhorn for a minute, um, uh, you know, this has been an inspiring march for educational justice. And we've been all through the west side. Here we are on the inner north side now. Um, you guys have been really an inspiration to me. I'm proud to call this a movement and be part of this movement. And is there anyone who wants to share a thought? Maybe maybe someone from SCIU? Do you want to? Yeah. Good day, everybody. Good day, everybody. Well, uh, my personal experience with this march, um, this is a very touchy moment. Um, I never thought I would ever be involved in this march. But this is a touching moment because our children's life is on the line. And with that being said, that um, as we was marching yesterday and we was passing out flyers, there was a lot of kids that didn't even realize that their schools was closing down. Matter of fact, they didn't even know what was going on. They wasn't even aware that the schools was closing down. Then they asked me, where are we going to go if they close our schools? I couldn't even have an answer to that. And it hurt me because our children like their schools, they love their teachers. And I've heard testimonies that they, they, they want to be there, they, they want to help out, and they want to be at their schools, but they feel that if they close our schools, they feel that they gotta go to downtown and go to school. And they gonna feel that my mom gonna have to get off of work early. Right. Is that right? No. I said, is that right? No. So we got, we, we, this has been a positive experience. It's been a humbling experience, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep fighting for our children. This is what this is about. Our children's life is on the line, and we're not going to take no mess from the mayor's office. We ain't taking no mess from the public school's office. We ain't taking no mess because this is our children, and they get to realize that we don't work for them. They work for us, so we got the power. And, and, and as what my grandmother said, as as a whole, if a family prays together, we stay together. So we got to pray together, we got to fight together, and we got to bring every bone until they find a way to listen to us. Thank you very much.